I wanted to talk about a QSearch application that we have available on the, uh, the NAS. That's Q-S-I-R-C-H. Um, so it's a powerful Google-like uh, search tool on your NAS. Basically what it's going to do is it's going to index everything that you let it index on the NAS. So you can set the content sources that it, that it will index. So it will do all that locally within the NAS and you're able to search um, uh, that index uh, for instant search results uh, from a lot of different places. So today I'm going to talk you through some of the different options that you can do. Um, one thing I will mention as well is everything I'm going to show you today is going to be on the light version of the software. So if I just scroll down here to the license plans, the light version, which is completely free, um, is um, the one I'm going to use. But if you do subscribe to the premium version, it is completely free um, until the 30th of June uh, later this year. Uh, so you get about a, just over a month to, uh, to have a play if you need the extra features that are listed there. Um, so any NAS that's, um, uh, uh, that's on sale by us today is able to install this software. So there's the uh, sort of requirements. You must have at least QTS 4.4.2 or newer. Um, or any QUTS Hero version, uh, they all support it. Um, and it can be uh, Intel, AMD, or ARM based NAS. Um, and you must have a minimum of two gigabytes of RAM. Uh, four gig, better, uh, but two gig is the absolute minimum. Um, so the, the NAS I'm going to use it on today is the uh, the new TS-464. Um, this particular model here has got the uh, four gig of RAM. You can expand it up to 16 gigs. Um, so with this model, um, I do have QSearch already installed. Um, so to install it is just a single click install uh, from the App Center. There's a couple of dependent apps um, such as the Multimedia Console um, and Container Station. Um, but if you don't have those installed already, when you try to install QSearch, it will say, do you want to install all the others for you? And it will go ahead and do that. Um, so here is QSearch Lite. Um, so this is the software that's running on the NAS. Um, I've got a little bit of data on the NAS. So if I show you the uh, the data set that I've got, um, the only thing I've got any data in is in the data folder. And I've got a folder called presentations um, and a folder called PDFs. So just some presentations of QNAP items that I've got, um, got there. So just one thing I'll notice is one of the search terms I'm going to use is the word backup. You can see that none of the file names have the word backup there. And if I switch to the PDF folder, um, it's the same again. None of them have the word backup in the file name. So when I type the search term of backup into uh, the QSearch software, um, it's going to give me the instant results uh, wherever it's indexed that file. So effectively, QSearch has gone off in the background. It's opened up and read every single file um, to find everything. And it's just got a big index and you can quickly search the items. Uh, so if I was to click into this QSearch box here, so I'm logged into the NAS web interface and I've opened up the QSearch application and I'm going to type the word backup. So I'm going to push enter and it's going to find everywhere where that word has been mentioned inside. So you can go in and you can click on um, a file, for example, um, you can open it directly if you want to, um, or you can just have a, a little thumbnail of it pop up at the side and get a bit of information about the file, you know, where it's located, um, who's the author, things like that. So you get a bit of information from each file that you click on. Um, so this is pulled back, uh, you can see by the uh, symbols here, it's pulled back some PDFs, it's got the Adobe Acrobat symbol, and it's got some uh, PowerPoint files. If you wanted to, you can restrict your search as well. So let's say I just wanted PDF options, so category PDF with the word backup. Now it's only showing me the PDF files, so it's not going to show me something else. So if you've got um, a bit of a, a hint in your head about what you're searching for, the type of format, uh, and you've got lots of other filters here to narrow it down even further. So if you know it was um, created by a certain author, you can now just tick to see uh, just the items created by that author, and I've narrowed it down to a single item. Uh, so there's a lot of ways to go through the uh, the different searches. Uh, now, coming into the NAS web interface uh, to do the searches might not be the most efficient thing for people to do, especially if they want to search locally from their own machine and they may not be logged into the NAS interface. Um, so there are different ways to do it directly from your computer. So I'm on a Mac here. Uh, so what I'm going to show you is how I would do it on a Mac. Um, so here I've got um, my uh, network share that's open. Um, so I've, I've navigated through my network locations to the folder where it's got the PDF and the presentations folder. I'm going to hit the spotlight button um, here so that it's going to do a search. And again, I'll search on that uh, phrase uh, backup and you get to choose where it's going to search. So I'm going to say search the data folder. 
Um, so without even pressing enter, it's already found all the different items. Uh, now this with Finder isn't as specific as say just showing me the PDFs with the, the main one. Uh, this is just using the index that QSearch has created um, and added it um, into the spotlight results. So on a Mac, you're able to search through and find these items very efficiently as well. So long as the NAS has indexed it, it's going to come up and find those same results where those files have uh, that word backup inside it. So that's able to find it that way. Um, so another um, way you can do it as well is perhaps you wanted to use your web browser. So we do have a plugin available. It's um, only available currently on Google Chrome. Uh, so here's Google Chrome. I've just got it open currently at the uh, at the QSearch webpage on QNAP's website. But at the top, I've added the plugin for QSearch. You can pull it up and it will pop out a little search field. And again here, I can type the word backup and it'll open up a new web browser window um, directly to the QSearch application. So I can go through and I can find whichever item I'm looking for. Um, but now we are in native uh, QSearch. So this will work um, completely natively. Uh, you can go through and do images, PDFs, documents. Um, it's not like with the Finder where it's it's whatever the Mac wants you to see. Now you've got the full features here of the QSearch software. Um, another way to go about it as well is if you are on uh, Windows. So I've got a, a Windows virtual machine here. Uh, we do have the QSearch PC edition. Um, so the QSearch PC edition is exactly as it sounds. It's a um, installed application that runs um, on your Windows machine and it pops up a little window here that lets you do searches. Uh, you can choose the search sources. So here I can search this PC itself or I can search the, the NAS that I've got it connected to. You can also manage the, the search sources. So if you've logged in with your QNAP ID and you have multiple NAS, uh, you're able to add those in here as well. So I've only added the TS-464 rather than the, uh, the other items. Um, when you first open this software first, it may say PC at the top, but you can just change it to the TS-464. You can come into the, uh, uh, the search facility and just type in uh, the search phrase you're looking for. And again, uh, you get the exact same thing. This time, it's not necessarily in a web browser. It's a native app running on your machine and you're able to go through and find the uh, the exact item you want. And again, if you want to filter it, say just by PDFs or something, you can do that again to narrow your search field down just as you would have done uh, through the main web interface itself. Um, so it's very easy to use. Um, but yes, this is, uh, this is QSearch. It's completely free. Uh, for most functions, if you do want to uh, have a play around with the, the advanced functions, we do have um, uh, the, the extra licensed version of QSearch. So instead of Lite, you can use the premium version. Um, and again, that is completely free um, until the, uh, the end of June uh, later this year. Um, so this is, um, this is QSearch. I have it running on a TS-464 uh, uh, with 4 gig of RAM and it works really smoothly, really well and it'll go through and search items. Uh, for anybody that wants an extra tip on how to manage your search sources, uh, you would have to go into Multimedia Console and you've got Content Management here. So you've got your content sources and currently I've got three, which is the Multimedia Share, the Public Share, and the data share. Um, so you can edit those if you want, so you can remove folders and add folders, but whatever you do there is gonna be indexed. So every time you add a file or the first time you install it, you may see that this uh, status is going to be uh, ticking by and it'll show you that maybe it's currently indexed 2,000 of 65,000 files or something. It's gonna work through um, your entire data set that you've got. This is just a demo NAS with a few files, uh, but if you've got a large set of data, when you first turn it on, it is gonna take a little minute to, uh, to go through uh, as a background task and index everything. And you know, it has to open up and look inside every file so it can make that index. Uh, but this is a much better way of uh, allowing everybody um, to do so instant searches on the NAS rather than them doing it across the network. Um, for example, on a Mac with the, the spotlight function, um, you can add each NAS to, uh, add the NAS you have to each Mac you have. Um, but what's gonna happen there is spotlight locally will usually want to index for every single Mac. So if you add 20 Macs to go index your NAS, every Mac is individually going to go build its own index, which is not very efficient. Um, it's going to cause a lot of network bandwidth traffic, um, unnecessary access on the NAS. If you install QSearch first, 
um, and then do the spotlight searches. Um, each Mac, all of those 20 Macs that I was using as an example, uh, they're all going to be able to pull from the common index, which has been created by QSearch on the NAS. Um, so it's much more efficient, uh, much easier to do. So every time the index is built by QSearch, it's local on the NAS. It does not increase any network traffic because it's searching itself effectively. It's not searching something across the network. Um, if anybody uh, has any questions about QSearch, would like to know more, uh, please do let us know uh, down in the comments section down below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks a lot. Bye.